As the name suggests, the Mercedes-AMG GT Roadster is the open-top convertible version of the Mercedes-AMG GT Coupe, a high-performance sports car built by a specialist subdivision of Mercedes-Benz. It comes in two variants, the regular GT Roadster and the faster GTC Roadster. Both are powered by a 4.0-liter twin-turbo V8 engine, which drives the rear wheels via a 7-speed automatic gearbox. Rivals include the more potent turbo versions of the Porsche 911 convertible, the Aston Martin V8 Vantage Roadster, the Jaguar F-Type SVR convertible and the Audi R8 Spider. There are many reasons for buying a car like this, but the chief decision makers are likely to be style and performance. Why buy the Mercedes-AMG GT Roadster? If it's style you're after, the regular AMG GT Roadster has it in spades. This is a statement-making car, with an electrically operated soft top that comes in a choice of three colors, opens or closes in 11 seconds and can be operated at up to 30 miles per hour. Lowering the roof gives you the opportunity to appreciate better the glorious noise generated by the AMG V8. Performance isn't exactly in short supply, either, as even this intra-level model has 476 horsepower and goes from 062 miles per hour in 4.0 seconds. However, if it's performance you want, the GTC is worth the extra cost. Not only does its version of the engine produce a socking great 557 horsepower, and sprint from 062 miles per hour in 3.7 seconds. The C borrows a number of components from the Mercedes AMG GTR, which currently tops the coupe range. Modifications include rear wheel steering and an electronically controlled limited slip differential more sophisticated than the mechanical version fitted in the regular GT Roadster. In addition, it has an extra driving mode race, adaptive suspension and wider spaced rear wheels for increased grip, in turn necessitating wider bodywork at the back. The GTC Roadster also comes with a higher level of standard equipment, though the GT's optional premium equipment line pack goes some way towards bridging the gap. The C's aggressive looks may not be for everyone, however. Charisma to burn, whichever AMG GT Roadster you choose you'll be getting a head-turning convertible that is not only very fast but packed with charisma, from the sound it makes to its voluptuous proportions. The interior arguably outclasses every rival listed above, the standard equipment specification is high and it's easily comfortable enough to cover vast distances. Anyone shopping in this area of the market has a tough decision to make, but this three-pointed star would certainly be close to the top of our shopping list. Both versions of the AMG GT Roadster are powered by fundamentally the same 4.0-litre V8 engine. This is specially produced by AMG for its performance variants of Mercedes regular model range but is particularly at home here in the Mark's bespoke sports car. The engine features two turbochargers, positioned between the cylinder banks. This hot inside V configuration is said to improve response and increase efficiency. All we know is that it sounds fabulous, and goes like a cartoon anvil thrown off a cliff. Power, torque. 062 miles per hour and top speed. In the GT Roadster, the engine produces 476 horsepower at 6,000 revolutions per minute and 630 newton meters from 1,7500 revolutions per minute, which is enough for 062 miles per hour and 4.0 seconds and a 188 miles per hour top speed. The GTC Roadster gets 557 horsepower from 5,7506, 750 revolutions per minute and 680 newton meters from 1,9005, 750 revolutions per minute, 062 miles per hour takes 3.7 seconds, and top speed is 196 miles per hour fast and faster, the difference in potency between the two models is certainly palpable, but that's nowhere near the same as saying the regular GT Roadster feels underpowered. The engine response is particularly good for a turbocharged car, and if anything, the sound it makes is more cultured than that of the GTC. In the C, the V8 rumble is overlaid by much more obvious turbo noise, in keeping with its more phonetic nature. Gearbox and Driving Modes 
both cars feature the same 7-speed AMG speed shift automatic transmission. This is generally well paved and keen to please, though in common with most AMG cars, can get caught between upshifts and manual mode if you're not quick enough when pulling the steering wheel mounted paddle shifter for the next gear. Gladly, the fully automatic settings work just fine. A standard fit driving mode selector offers a choice of comfort, sport and sport plus settings on the GT, with an additional race mode on the GTC. These modes get progressively more urgent, with corresponding adaptation of the engine, gear shift times and suspension where the variable damping system is fitted.